So since Anaheim's over, I kind of wanted to do a deep dive on Red Reserve's hardpoint game, especially because they were so good at winning hardpoints despite being outslayed at Anaheim. I think they finished 7-4 and four in those situations. So a 64% win rate uh, is a really good number for a CWL team in those situations. Uh, and they did most of those on Valkyrie. So I wanted to look at the Red Reserve versus LG Valk hardpoint. I believe it's map one of the Losers Bracket Finals. And I wanted to specifically look at the two storage bunker hills because I believe those are the two crucial turning points uh, in these two rotations. And uh, Red Reserve is able to create a huge gap in both of those, uh, outscore LG by a lot, and limit LG in the amount of points scored that uh, they were able to get in these two hills. So uh, moving on into the first rotation, uh, we're going to be going from Operations Bunker, which has 10 seconds left. Slacked is going to be your player uh, taking the scrap time, number 7 on your minimap. And John is going to get in the first engagement of the hill right here. Uh, it's a really crucial one because he's facing up against Joe. He ends up winning the gunfight. And it, it's so crucial because Joe ends up spawning uh, in the top right part of your minimap here. So he spawns really far out. So that means LG is going to have a 3v2 uh, push on this storage bunker hill. Uh, Scraps, I don't believe, is going to be in this situation because I believe he gets killed by Slacked. Uh, so Jcap, John, and Formal all are converging on the hill, and it's just zero and rated uh, trying to hold them off. So John and Formal are going to go through the the same way and try and pick off rated who's still in the hill, while Jcap is going to try and win this gunfight versus zero. So it's really important that zero wins this gunfight over here. Because if he's able to win it, he's going to be able to rotate back to rot uh, to Rated and actually help him with this, this 2v1 situation that he's in. So Rated is basically just trying to buy time and see if he can get at least one of these kills uh, and stay alive in the hill. So Jacob actually loses this gunfight 2-0 and Zero immediately comes back and tries to help Rated. Rated gets one of the kills on John and then Zero is able to get the kill on Formal. So a very nice 2v3 clutch by uh, the Red Reserve guys. With 50 seconds left in the hill, that could have been a complete swing for LG. They could have taken the hard point and have been soaking up all of this time. And th look at it. They're down 50 points right now. So that could have been a tie game right there. So later on, we're going to have uh, another 2v4 situation just because of how Scrap spawned. Basically, where Joe spawned before, all the way back here in this back right. And uh, Formal and John both spawned in the office. So... It's going to be a 2v4 situation as Joe goes down to Slacked right here. Uh, so it's all up to zero on the outskirts part of the map and rated inside the hill to clutch another 2v4 basically. So zero is going to go absolutely huge. He gets the first kill on Formal here while the LG players are converging on rated. He also gets the kill on John. So I believe Jacob actually gets this kill on rated in the hill, but it's all for nothing because... All of LG have already died. They're spawning out in the office. And all three of these Red Reserve players that are alive are now converging on the hill. I think Jcap only gets maybe two, two seconds on this hill. So it, basically all for nothing, all of those LG kills. Um, and yeah, Scraps is going to be able to take out Jcap right here. And as you can see, Zero with a monster start. Starting the map off with a 10-3 and 3 performance with a 4-kill streak. Um, so he, LG is actually mounting another little... Um, push right here and zero is going to be able to take another one i believe it's john and he's going to go on a five kill streak he gets traded out but it's still a 3v3 so he, he thwarts a little bit of a push uh that a four-man push that lg had so very big kill by there zero goes absolutely off on this hard point as i pause the video he gets i believe six of the 13 kills that red reserve has on this hill so he just goes massive and uh Red Reserve just does an, a great job here uh, trading kills. They're spawning right really close, to, very close to the uh, the hard point here. And uh, you're going to see Ro Zero actually be able to rotate back to the hard point and help raid it out with a crucial gunfight later on. So all of these traded kills that Joe is getting on Slacked after he killed Zero and Formal is going to get on Scraps and Joe, but Raid is going to trade out Formal. All of these traded kills by Raid it. And, uh, and Red Reserve are, are really good for their, their time right now. As you can see, Zero rotated back from that early spawn, or that close spawn, I should say, and uh, he gets Jcap. And then John's actually going to win this gunfight here on Zero, but it really doesn't matter because uh, LG has already rotated towards Office, so they've basically given up on this hill. John's kill means nothing because the storage bunker is already lost. They're 
13 seconds left and there's only one guy in the hill scraps is going to be in the hill he's just going to soak up the rest of this time and jo john's going to have to back out there's nothing he can do and he's just all he's going to have to do is try and find any like rotation kills from one of these spawners out here so uh red reserves does a great job of just trading kills and and making those 2v3 and 2v4 clutches uh that zero and rated have just seamless and and have them basically create an 80 point lead which is amazing for for something that could have been a tie game at that point or even a, a leading uh, situation for luminosity so yeah i think that was really really key for this this map especially uh red reserve actually outslays them 13 and 9 on this hard point uh, so it's not a big difference in the kill category uh, but they are able to outscore them 41 to 4 so that's a 37 point difference for a four kill difference a uh, very very good situation for red reserve there so in this second rotation i really want to hammer in the importance of being efficient with their kills and turning hills into money hills when you can so as you saw in the last rotation red reserve was doing a really good job at trading kills when they could and clutching up in those 2v3 or 2v4 scenarios to make storage bunker a money hill so now they're down 147 to 167 in this uh, part of the rotation and uh, so it's it's really important for them to claw back here because it could be a really crucial turning point in the game if they end up losing this hill as well so we're going to unpause the video uh, john is going to be the first one rotating out uh, with eight seconds left on operations bunker he's going to find joe in this one-off corner spot uh, joe is able to pick him off and then Joe's going to turn around and pick off uh, Formal as well. So it's a nice two-piece to start the hill. I'm going to pause it here. Uh, and it actually gives a lot of breathing room to Red Reserve. As you can see, Zero is the only one in the hill for Red Reserve, as Scraps and Rated are both pushed up here uh, to try and get some early pickoffs on some of the rotating players. So a, a nice job by Joe to get a, a nice two-piece to start off the hill. Uh, Rated, we're going to jump onto him. He's going to get a nice two-piece on uh, Jcap and Slacked. Uh, again, another two-piece thwarting Luminosity's push when they could, and now LG is going to also be spawning up together uh, and see if they can push again, because now they have 50 seconds left. They can still push, obviously, uh, as a team, but uh, they Joe's got bad news for them because he's going to throw, throw a nasty two-piece Semtex nade and kills both Jcap and Formal. Uh, so LG can't make a push because John is going to be uh, the one over here, he can't do anything. Slack's on the other side of the map. They're both going to have to wait uh, for Jcap and Formal to spawn back up. I believe John even gets a kill on Zero in the hill any, uh, right here. But it really doesn't matter because he's going to have to wait for these three players to push with him uh, anyways. And Zero ends up spawning in the outskirts part of the map uh, anyways. So it really is a non-important kill. And as you can see, Red Reserve's climbing back 163 to 177. Three two pieces have allowed Red Reserve to basically thwart LG's pushes in this uh, storage bunker hill and and trying to and turn it into a money hill right now if they can get uh, one more stoppage. So uh, Joe is going to be looking here. I think he ends up getting this kill on John, uh, while Slacked ends up getting killed by Zero here. So again, thwarting the push. Uh, formal over here and I believe Jcap over here. They can't do anything. You're going to see LG even start to just rotate towards office. They can't do anything right now. There's 30 seconds left. Um, I think actually, yeah, Formal gets one kill, but he's going to get traded right away by Scraps. So very nice trade by there, by Red Reserve right there. And as you can see, 5 and 7 are already going to be rotating towards the office building. They said they're done with this hill. It's basically a tied game right now when Red Reserve was just down four, uh, 20 points. And now they're going to be up 20 points with the rest of this scrap time because uh, LGs are getting all these kills around here, but it doesn't really matter because they're just going to be uh, rotating towards this new hill anyway. So uh, Red Reserve ends up getting these points. They outscore Luminosity 52 to 0, a complete shutout and a turning point in this game. Red Reserve actually ends up winning this game, I think 250 to 205. So really big hill. That's probably the biggest hill of this game. Uh, and they only outslayed them 7-4 to four on this hill. So thanks for watching. Uh, I was kind of bored today, so I just thought I'd whip this up and try my hand at this analysis thing. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do some more videos to come. I'll try and up the production quality so it isn't as bad as uh, this one. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.